The art of the Counter-Reformation was political propaganda reimagined. Catholic art had always been a seduction, a sidestepping of the rational, an appeal to the primordial mind. The art of the Catholic is the art of fear, persecution, martyrdom, and criminal bargainings. Indoctrinating the illiterate and the educated alike, the blasphemous art of the Catholic Church enraged Protestants. They burnt paintings and smashed heretical sculptures, choosing instead to worship in austere environments devoid of colour. In the wake of the Protestant Reformation, the sad parlour tricks of Catholic artists had lost their sheen. A newer, rawer approach to intellectual male practice had to be concocted. The art of the Counter-Reformation shed the fantastic in favour of raw human drama. It doubled down on the emotional manipulations of art, breaking down the fundamentals of Catholic theology and extracting its base metals. This is the art of the state, a desperate gambit to consolidate an eroding power. It is into this political maelstrom that Caravaggio arrives, stripping away the pompous, the fanciful, the supernatural. Caravaggio plunges the viewer into his world, the world of the streets, a potluck of human misery and poverty. Caravaggio pulled the homeless and the destitute from their broken hovels, lit them on a lonely stage, and recast them as biblical characters, Greek gods and tarnished saints. Caravaggio pulls down the heavens with his paintbrush and populates dry myths with living, breathing human beings. Human beings with seeping boils and rotten teeth. Human beings with cheap ambitions and fluid sexualities. This is the human mass. A seething heap of the corrupt, the fragile, the lonely. Golden examples are pulled from the rubble of humanity by the creator and frozen in the amber of fine art. Caravaggio sleeps with the flea-ridden elite, peddling fascist lies for profit. But in doing so, he plants a seed. The product of that seed has revealed itself clearly after all these years. Its powerful limbs push through the dead state's pitiful narratives. Its roots sink deeply into the fertile earth of history, transforming the oppressor's language into a sonnet of the people for the people. Art has no need for rational persuasion. It carves its message directly onto the brain with the efficiency of a gunshot. It arrests the viewer's heart through their vision and twists their emotions into a dance of the marionette. Art is the propagandist's tool of choice, the most effective weapon in their arsenal. The portrayal of hell as an infinite terror zone is palpable. The ecstasy of the religiously blessed emanate from canvases and sculptures like a hypostatic flame. The scenes that Caravaggio constructs are like an incomplete Meccano set lit by vaudevillian stage lights. This is the turbulent tragicomedy of a divine soap opera, playing out in all of its unbearable ferocity. This fierceness ultimately transcends the coarse political machinations of the divine and rises up to the highest stratospheres of the human condition. It is through the eyes of Caravaggio that we see the religious world reframed by the human, the mundane. The unfolding miraculousness of the everyday is raised up onto the canvas and given its due reverence. As the theological battles of centuries ago melt away into historical footnotes, we are left with Caravaggio's indelible message. 
it is a message of life, the human and our revolving mortal coil.